White flag is raised. 20 runners lined up. Net off over two miles plus in Monday evening's feature, the Connacht Hotel Amateurs Handicap. And as they emerge out of stalls, close up is Al Muhit with Female Soldier running the rail in the green jacket HMS Seahorse. In a prominent position is Button Song, followed by Cougar, the grey is Zinc White. Next on the inside is Shad Jack and the start cap as they sort themselves out, making the run downhill. And Cougar edges on just in front from Button Song, and between the two leaders is HMS Seahorse. They're followed by Al Muhit, Magellan Strait, and Whiskey Sour. More to the inside, Shad Jack with Zinc White. They're followed by Dartan and Phoenix Cowboy. Tightly packed as they head for the straight the first time. And it's Cougar, fractional leader from Burren Song and HMS Seahorse. Round the outer is Magellan Strait with Al Muhit and then Shad Jack. Zinc White next with Whiskey Sour and Female Soldier and Dartan and Teed Up in mid division. Line out next, then Powerful Laggy and Phoenix Cowboy. Dutch Schultz, Scatter Mangan, Lot of Joy and Black Hawk Eagle. The very man last but one and bringing up the rear with a mile and a half to go. Last year's second maze runner. Not much between Cougar on the rail. In the center is Bud and Song. Magellan straight on the outside of Al Muhid. Tracked by HMS Seahorse. These five covered by less than three lengths. Then Zinc White. Couple of lengths to Shad Jack who's nudged along on the inside of Whiskey Sour. Female Soldier next with Dart Tan and Teed Up and Line Out and Parfalagi. Dutch Schultz next with Phoenix Cowboy who's lost a bit of ground. Bumped along a lot of joy. After a lot of joy. Heading for the halfway stage. Is Scatter Manga then Black Hawk Eagle the very man. And continuing at the back of the field is Maze Runner. Going past the halfway stage. And it's almost a line of four to the bend. Cougar the inside of Bud and Song. Magellan straight on the outside of Al Mohid, covered by less than two lengths. Two lengths back to HMS Seahorse. Alongside is Zinc White. Gap of four lengths to Whiskey Sour and then Shad Jack, female soldier, and teed up next. On the inside is Dartan, went line out. Seven furlongs to go in the Connacht Hotel Amateurs Premier Handicap. And it's Cougar on the inside and Derek O'Connor. One off the rail is Burden Song, Adam Ryan, attended by Magellan Strait and Tom Hamilton as they return to their point of departure. Bang in between horses is Al Mohit and Pat Taff. Then comes Zinc White and Tiernan Power Roach. On the inside is HMS T Horse and Owen O'Brien. Heading now to the top end of the back straight. Five furlongs to go. And they've really tightened up with on the inside Cougar the white cap. Just with the edge from Al Muhit and Magellan straight. Whiskey Sours made ground. And starting to creep into contention is teed up. HMS Seahorse next with Zinc White. Button Song fades. Then Line Out who's closing. On the outside is Lot of Joy the blue cap. Heading down to the last half mile. Plenty in with chances, Cougar and Al Muhid one and two. Whiskey Sour on the outside of Magellan Strait who's come under pressure. Then HMS Seahorse and Zinc White next with Teed Up arriving on the outside and then Line Out. Phoenix Cowboy next with Lot of Joy. They head past the three. Whiskey Sour, previous winner of the race, is joined by Teed Up who's coming there on the outside. Then HMS Seahorse as they turn in. Lot of Joy is running on for pressure and then Line Out. Powerful Aggie and Shad Jack next with Dutch Schultz and Black Hawk Eagle. Then Maze runner and Scatamanga and the very man running the home turn, teed up on the outside of Whiskey Sour, HMS Seahorse on the inside, the three are wide across the track, followed by Shad Jack after them is Lot of Joy Powerful Aggie next, the very man from a long way back, up the hill teed up, is wandering over towards the near side, but is in front for Raymond Barron, HMS Seahorse, Shad Jack, the very man, all bearing down but it's teed up, coming to life again, it's all the way in the amateurs for Raymond Barron, and Emmett Mullins in the maze, the very man Shajak, a captain to HMS Seahorse and Whiskey Sar. Ray Barron is just going to join me for a quick word as he weighs in after winning the biggest part of your career. It's a very prestigious race for the amateurs. What's it mean to win your first of them? Actually, it's deadly. It's actually my first ride in the race, Kevin. First ride? Yeah, yeah. Very happy to get the call off him now. Um, got to the front too soon, as you can see, but um, he was game all the way up to the straight. Probably should have pulled the stick through to the left hand when he was going a bit. To the left, but um, no, he was very good, delighted. No. And obviously you benefited from a pace collapse, went a right good gallop in the front end, you slotted in, got a lovely position. Yeah. As you said, you'd have liked the lead for a little bit longer, but you had to go on, you did? Yeah, and that stage when everyone's stopping in front of you, facing into the heel when you're going forward, it's very hard to take him back or do anything but go forward, so 
No, I'm very happy. He's very game all the way till I think. I'm going to them at Bucky for this. Friday evening. So Friday evening. It's like Christmas getting the call. <laughs> and obviously a great ride to get, and obviously a great record round uh, Galway this hour. That's his fourth win. Definitely, yeah. But sure. Emmett, like, he's very good, and especially for the Mee family around here, you always know he had the chance, and delighted I could get him across the line from. And you were obviously hoping that rain would keep falling. Yeah, yeah, he had a very good run in Doncaster over mile four on soft ground, like, so everything was coming to light for him here, and we knew it was all clicking, so thank God it worked out. So you have a big chance of a double, shoot champagne in the finale. I thought ran a cracking race in debut with Cork. Definitely in Cork, um, four-year-old filly, like, so hopefully she came out of the race well, and, um, Hopefully she can put her best foot forward and be nice now, wouldn't it? Great stuff. Ray, many congratulations. Thank you. Yes, Emma Mullins joins me now. First first winner of the week. I said it's not going to be the last time I'm going to speak to you, but a really good performance. And this horse just grows a leg round here. That's his, what, fourth win. He's been second in his other two runs. That's it. You know, uh, horses for courses, and uh, he loves it round here. I suppose it all came together. He, he likes to cut in the ground, and um, been frustrating enough there for the summer. We couldn't really get a run into him, but... Uh, it, it, it's it's paid off now. It was only your second time over the trip as well. First coming in Tremor, wasn't it, two weeks ago? Yes, yeah, no, it was definitely a slight concern. Um, but no, uh, Ray gave him a fantastic ride and uh, he was great value for the seven and uh, I'm very glad we sought him out. Ray panned out perfectly. They went a right good gallop in the front and you slotted in and got a lovely position. Yeah, no, that's it. Um, I suppose when you were a bit worried about the stamina test, but... Um, no, he, he started in, he has the pace to travel and um, he handled the ground, which was always a big advantage around here today, I'd say. If anything, you'd like to lead for a little bit longer, but just the pace in the front end collapsed. That's it, yeah. Um, it was a, a funny race, as I say, yeah, the, the early early pace collapsed coming down into the dip. and um, But no, look, he, he, he showed guts there to stick it out on his own the whole way up there. He was a bit wayward, but... Um, he kept his head down and galloped the whole line. Will we see him later on the week? I'm sure we'll see him once or twice more, yeah. What's he in? He's in over hurdles, isn't he? He's in over hurdles on Friday. He's in the mile and a half handicap here Friday. And he'll probably get an entry in the hurdle race he won on the Sunday here, the conditional jockey's race last year. And finally, you've a well-touted newcomer in the finale again for the Mee family. Yeah, no, um, he's been showing the right signs at home anyway. The ground would be a little concerned. Um, it's an unknown and uh, we, we won't be long about finding out once he steps out in it. You like him a lot though? We do, yeah, no, he goes well at home. Great stuff, well done. Cheers, thanks. Well done, Emmett. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.